<laughs> Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather is one of the most celebrated and iconic films of all time. The Crime Saga is considered one of the greatest films ever made, and remains talked about and ever relevant to this day. In fact, the film recently celebrated its 40th anniversary, with Paramount Pictures releasing a 4K restoration of the entire Godfather trilogy, with added bonus content. Only two years ago, Francis Ford Coppola released The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone, a recut version of The Godfather Part 3, which Coppola has said is truer to his and Godfather author Mario Puzo's original vision for the film. And the 4K restoration and Godfather Coda are not our only opportunities to revisit the world of the Corleones in recent times. As I mentioned in 2020, there is actually a limited TV series coming out soon called The Offer, in which the turbulent behind the scenes making of the first Godfather movie is explored. In fact, it is one of two Godfather making of projects being developed, as there is also a movie in the works starring Oscar Isaac and directed by Barry Levinson. Anyway, the offer is set to be released in April of this year on Paramount's streaming platform, Paramount+. Plus. It is a 10-episode series looking at producer Albert Roddy's time working on The Godfather. The behind the scenes of the first Godfather movie is incredibly interesting, especially given the involvement of the real life underworld. For example, as I'm sure will be included in the offer, Al Roddy was summoned by real life mob boss Joe Colombo, who demanded to read the script to the film and wanted changes made, such as the removal of the word mafia, threatening to otherwise cause the production serious issues. Many of the actors in the film had connections to the underworld, and some, such as Lenny Montana, who played Luca Brasi, were actually in the mob. In addition to involvement of the mafia, there were other troubles on set, such as director-producer battles, now titanic actors like Al Pacino almost getting fired, and all sorts of issues. So there is material available for a very interesting show, and recently the trailer for the limited series dropped. The series stars Miles Teller as Albert Ruddy, Matthew Good as Robert Evans, the producer who famously clashed with Francis Ford Coppola. Coppola is being played by Dan Fogler, Mario Puzo by Patrick Gallo, Joe Colombo by Giovanni Ribisi, Marlon Brando by Justin Chambers, Frank Sinatra by Frank John Hughes, Lenny Montana by Lou Ferrigno, Al Pacino by Anthony Ippolito, Carlo Gambino by Anthony Scordi and Joseph Russo as Crazy Joe Gallo. To be perfectly honest, I'm familiar with only a few of these actors, but I suppose it helps with the immersion not to see big name actors play the role of famous people, whoever's best for the part, I guess. So from the roster, we can see that the series will probably focus heavily on the mob involvement in the film. The trailer itself is okay, I guess. I wasn't overwhelmed, I wasn't underwhelmed, I was quite simply whelmed. There's something about it, maybe the cameras they used or something, but something about it looks a bit cheap. From the little we see, I can't quite get the impression out of my head that we're seeing modern day actors play dress up and pretend they're in the 70s. I mean, Joe Colombo looks and speaks, if that is his voice, like a Saturday Night Live sketch mobster. There's always a chance it could be great, of course, but for me, the trailer doesn't leave much of an impression. It's far too early to make a real serious judgement. I didn't see any actors listed for the likes of Robert Duvall or James Caan, so I imagine that this series will focus less on the actors and more on the producers and their fight to get the film made. I've got a feeling that the show might actually end just as The Godfather begins filming, as the Joe Colombo and the Italian-American Anti-Defamation League protests and all of that stuff started happening before the cameras even started rolling. Maybe they're saving the story of the behind the scenes of the actual film itself for a second season, if this one is a success. The series creator, Michael Tolkien, has spoken about the project, saying, All I knew about the making of The Godfather was that Mario Puzo got into a fight with Frank Sinatra at Chassin's. So I had a 5 minute scene and all I needed was 9 hours and 55 minutes more. Tolkien spent 5 days interviewing the real Al Ruddy, who is also an executive producer on the offer. He went on to say, What sealed it for me was when Al said, Every day of making The Godfather was the worst day in my life. And that told me we had a show. 
For every character in the film, getting it made or stopping it from being made was at the core of their actions, and it was a matter of life and death to them. So that's not a gangster story, that's a human story. And that's what gave the book and the movie so much power. Everyone is fighting for their existence. Al had the most brilliant combination of tenacity and taste. With all the forces against him, he moved steadily ahead, protecting the film's vision, not his own ego. So are you looking forward to this series on the making of The Godfather? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and thanks for watching.